Hey everyone, I'm back. Yes, it's me, Dan, with Feather Bear Designs. Um, I just wanted to touch bases with everybody. Um, as you all well know, I'm I was the the creator of the Feather Bear Designs um, multi cup turner, and the six cup and the four cup and all of the parts. The response was overwhelming, and um, as you can see, all the gray. I've been hard at it, making um, a ton of parts for people, and um, so happy to say that the the success for people making those has just been has been awesome and the feedback has been great and i get a question questions a lot um am i still doing the parts yes i am still doing the parts um while the parts while i can still get them and while people still want them um i'm gonna keep making them so um and and once again um make sure you watch the videos before you order any parts there's only certain parts that i do i get a lot of questions about that um I know there is no written how-to manual. The how-to manual is the videos. They're very, very highly detailed. And I did that so people um, could watch them and, and know the measurements and, and all of that stuff. So anyway, that said, um, I was out in my, my garage um, workshop one night and I was making parts. And um, Heather uh, comes out and says, I need a single cup turner. Are you kidding me? You have a six cup turner, you have a four cup turner, and now you want a single cup turner. Okay, so she was adamant about it. So I stopped what I was doing, and I literally, within an hour, I'm not kidding, came up with this. Now, I'm not the creator of the single cup turner. I have my own version. Um, There's probably going to be a lot of similarities to uh, other people's single cup turner. Um, and there's videos out there. I didn't watch any of them prior to this. Um, going back and seeing a couple, there are there are some similarities. The difference is in, in, in wanting to continue to, to help the, the Tumblr community, um, I wanted to do a video of one I made, and I want to make it so incredibly highly detailed, step by step, um, maybe even a little bit boring for some, show you guys how I built this one, what I used, how I did it. Let's disassemble it, measure it, take it apart, put it back together again. Um, I want, because you guys have spent so much money on parts and all the supplies that you need for making tumblers, etc. I want to make this a no brainer. I want to make this so simple that the higher percentage, 95, 98% of you, can do it yourself. I don't want you to keep buying single cup turners. I don't want you to have to buy parts from me for a single cup turner. Let's keep that to the multi cup turner. So we're going to break it down. Uh, I'm going to go through everything with you guys. And um, what's really cool is Heather uses this all the time. And it's great for demonstrations. It's great for just going in there and, and, and popping out one cup at a time. Um, she uses her, her six cup turner and her four cup turner, which I still do the parts for, um, as well as, as this. It's been a great addition. So those of you who have multi-cup turners, build this little guy. It, it, it's great. Um, for those of you just starting out, um, what a great way to start. And um, if and when you decide to graduate to multiple cups, um, then then build one or buy parts from me and build one or whatever you want to do. But um, in, even even in addition, like I said, to what you already have or a great way of starting out. So what I'm going to do, you guys can see this. Listen, it's super, super simple. But there's some little glitches and some little tricks that I want to make sure you guys are all aware of so you don't have any problems or any issues building it. Um, so I'm going to be as highly detailed as possible. And like, like I said, some of you are going to be like, duh, you know. But some of you are going to be like, oh, wow, that's so cool. Thank you. So anyway, um, I think that's it. Let's break it down. Let's go in the shop and um, figure it out, okay? Let's go. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Okay, see? Here we are. Tons and tons of football arms. Um, 
plenty of them. And over here, lots more coming. And check this out. Sorry for my dirty garage area, but look at that. Hard at it, guys. Tons and tons of parts. Um, as you can see, um, gone are the days that I'm able to get used parts anymore. Gears, uh, hopefully where you live, you still can. Um, but of course, I make too darn many, so I go into the bike shop now and they just run away from me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I mean, if you've looked at these online uh, or anywhere else, um, I've seen these single cogs go for as much as 10 bucks. So, um, for, for, for five dollars a part, for what I've been doing everybody for, um, for five dollars, you know, to go through all of this, it's a pretty darn, pretty darn good deal. So, anyway, hopefully, I'm helping out, uh, the Tumblr community and everybody's happy and um, let's get this uh, all cleaned off here and uh, get to the meat of the video and break out the uh, single cup uh, rotisserie tumbler turner okay everybody see that all right rotate it around a little bit so the first thing I had to do is build the base um, this is as far as like if you go to you know the the lumber yard or Home Depot or whatever um, it is uh, what they call a two by 10, AKA two by nine or one and a half by nine. The actual width of it is nine inches, um, which is us, us dumb Americans. I don't know why we just can't call it what it is, but so it's um, nine inches wide. And I made this, this one is about 16 and a half inches long. I wanted plenty of workspace across the whole thing this way and this way okay um you probably could get away with a two by six or something but um, i wanted a nice big area to work with here and as you can see this is well used i mean heather puts her paper or cardboard down here for for it to, to drip on um so real measurements nine by 16 and a half okay so let me take this apart fingers in there. Okay. There's that. And that. These come with the rotisseries. I don't know what they're called. Let's just call them metal rotisserie slips. Okay. And then um, this is attached to this. So this piece, let's move this out of the way, is obviously the same width because I simply cut it off of this. I only made this three inches tall three inches tall i went in about two inches from here from here over then let's look at the bottom because we want to go every little piece i just put it on there and i screwed it in okay i measured two inches or no that's two and a half inches right I measured two and a half inches. That way that would be two inches from there. So that's two and a half inches. I put that on the center and I screwed it in. <clears throat> so when you're making your base, that and that, do that first, all right? Um, let me get a Phillips. Take this apart. If you guys have any questions, um, just ask, email me, featherbeardesigns at gmail.com. I'm usually pretty good about answering people. This whole thing just dun -dun -dun, comes right off, right? Like that. Another little slip in there. I got to remember to put that back in there. That's your rotisserie. Okay. Okay. So with your rotisserie comes this bracket. Everybody see? 
and that flat bracket. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to Get this piece right here, longer side out, shorter side in. Find the center of this, okay? And then put your screws in there. It's really cool because they have these, these holes in this panel here, so you can screw that in there. Now, let's get tape measure out. Oh, sorry guys. Um, this is about, one, one and a half inches high. I'm trying to, I know this is super awkward because I'm trying to get really close. So I get that piece on there about one and a half inches high. On this side, you're going to screw in the flat metal piece. I, I watched some of these and people had like this here and then out here they had something to hold it up because the because this was you know ang angling down or up or whatever um, we're gonna get to that there's a remedy for that you back up a little bit okay so then you want to put this piece on right what you want to do is Get yourself uh, your your bar or something, and just maybe put it across there like that to make sure that that it's perfectly straight. You don't want this going like this or like that. So when it's straight, hold your piece in like that. Screw it in. Screw it in. Okay. Got our base, metal piece here, metal piece here. What that sound is. Um, okay. So your rotisserie. Right? This actually is gonna go the one I have at least is gonna go switch side up, right? And it's going to go in here. We're going to take this slip, the small side towards the rotisserie, large side out. And we're going to put it in here. I can't see. I'm trying to look at the camera and do this at the same time, like that. And then we're going to slip it on. Ah! Let's try this again. Slip it on like that. Okay? That way. The, it's behind that little skinny piece is actually inside the rotisserie. It's behind this, All right? Gosh darn it! Okay, <laughs> you could tell I'm a professional professional video maker. Um, that's how we did it originally, okay? And then this was going in here like this, and um, this was moving back and forth, so we had pieces of wood in here to stop that. Um, so we were like, God, that doesn't, it's not really working right. So what we did was pull that out, okay? Get the other slip, put it on, Loosen it up, slip it in, and go all the way in to the rotisserie. So you have both of them right there. And then you tighten it up. Okay. So that holds it really nice and steady out here. It doesn't, doesn't go way down. Well, that's not true. It did start to weigh down. So this was moving... This was pushing down, which was push, pulling the rotisserie up. So, what I did was... Do you see that hole 
and that hole. That is actually in the bracket. What I did, I'm gonna pull this back out because again, we're gonna go back to highly detailed. This is kind of a, there we go. Okay, you see the holes right here? I drilled those. Those don't come like that. What I did was I drilled through, well actually these holes, these holes were here, which is really cool. So like that, I went through the hole with my little drill bit and I had these little short, short screws. Now I was using what I had in the shop. I didn't have washers, so I used a nut as a washer because I didn't want, I want the screw to go in really well, but I didn't want it to get this part to go in so far it damaged something inside there. So after I drilled the holes, see if I can do this on video like that. And screw it in tight. What do I do with the other one, guys? There it is. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I'm boring the hell out of everybody. Oh. Okay, there we go. All right. But check it out. Now when this is in here, this isn't moving. Now when this is in here, I can I can push down on this and this isn't going to raise. And so that's not going to go up and down and having both of those slips in there, this isn't going to move back and forth. So let's Oh, you know what? <laughs> I goofed, didn't I? I didn't I forgot to put that in there. See? So don't make that mistake. I'm going to unscrew these. Unscrew these. Okay. Lift it up, put it back in. Let's put it with this thing, that thing up so I can turn it down. Once again, that goes in prior to this going down because that bracket holds it in, holds it in spot. There, that's not going anywhere. Um, go back to these. And once again, do do do, okay. Notice I'm not pausing the video. I'm not walking away to get stuff. We're going to do all this in one shot. Okay, so now that's in place, right? This isn't going anywhere. This isn't going up and down. Let's um, put this slip on. Uh, let's go the other way. Yeah. I wonder if that matters. Let's go the other way. Since that's the way I had it before. Okay, that's it guys. Tighten that one. Tighten this one. Boom, not going anywhere. See that? Beautiful, huh? Okay, um, so that's a little trick you need to know about. Works great, that no, no longer raises. You gotta drill your own holes in the rotisserie. Tiny, tiny holes. Um, let's pull this out. Okay. So I had to think of the arm that holds the cup. As you know, I'm used to doing these on PVC. So I'm sitting here thinking how I'm going to put that on PVC. I did not like the idea of putting the metal through there and gluing the metal to the foam. Um, I just, I don't know, I didn't feel good right about it. I didn't feel like it was gonna get a good uh, adhesion to it, but we have had zero issues. And yes, these are still the same footballs that I use when I'm doing the parts. That's, that's the small one for 20 ounce and that's the large one for the 30 and 40 ounce. I wanted to make this bar really short and you can actually take your bar and you could darn near cut these in half and have have two arms. 
have a have a small one and have a large one so um i basically just cut the the tips off and um got got this metal through the football and then i i pulled it back out and then i put um what i use is a gorilla glue i'll get it the stuff I like it because it actually has sort of a foaming quality and I just put it all over the piece of the metal and I and I pushed it back through and let it dry and this thing is not even budge it's not coming off this is only 11 inches approximately There you have it. I'm gonna put it back in here. Put it back in there. Let me put the screw back so I can easily tighten it. The other way? Oh, which way? Okay. Um, let me get a. Put, plug this in. Okay, turn it on. I love making mistakes on tape. Did you see what I just did? It wasn't turning and I'm sitting here going, oh crud. I didn't have the football all the way inside the rotisserie. So it was turning, but it wasn't, it wasn't catching. See, even I make dumb mistakes. And that's it. Single cup rotisserie. I hope that was so darn highly detailed that nobody even has any worries or any questions you just can make this no problem there you go um anyway good luck to everybody i hope that helps you if you have any questions feel free to ask uh, thank you so much for supporting um our our page and liking and and sharing and all your kind words um we love all of our fans and um Happy Tumblr tumbling. Good luck to all you guys. We will talk to you and see you soon.